Hey there, it's Mark from Preseam. Traffic shaping, rate limiting, or plan enforcement. Call it anything you like, but the importance of an effective WISP bandwidth control solution cannot be underestimated. Whether it's optimizing use of backhaul capacity or selling plan speeds based on customer needs, almost all WISPs need bandwidth control solutions. Interestingly, many WISP owners and operators think that as long as they have a bandwidth control or management solution that limits the customer to the speed and plan, that's enough. In reality, there's a lot more to bandwidth control than just the enforcement aspect. The choice of a WISP bandwidth control or traffic shaping solution has a direct impact on a subscriber's quality of experience, or QOE. Poor plan enforcement leads to the typical, my internet is slow calls. This is typically seen in situations where users of bulk applications, like Netflix or streaming video, negatively impact the experience of interactive applications, like VoIP or gaming. Let's talk about three common WISP bandwidth control solutions that many WISPs deploy and what kind of QoE issues exist with each approach. Firstly, AP enforcement. In such a case, a WISP will set plan speeds and rules at an access point level for each customer. AP level shaping tools use simple queuing techniques. With simple queues, if more data comes in than what the queue can handle, packets are either dropped or buffered. So. When households run multiple streams of video or max out their connection, all other applications will suffer and their overall experience will be poor. Next, router level enforcement. Some WISPs use scripts or rules set in their edge routers, like a MicroTik or CPE. These also use simple queuing techniques and suffer from the same issues as AP level enforcement. Similar to AP level enforcement, router level bandwidth control is incapable of subscriber aware policies, such as multi-site bandwidth limits. Number three, application-aware or DPI-based traffic management tools. These solutions inspect individual applications and then use a complex set of rules to treat individual traffic flows differently and set individual priorities, if required. In such a case, a WISP will set manual rules like cap Netflix at X megabits, VoIP at Y megabits, and so on. DPI-based solutions require constant tweaking, setting arbitrary bandwidth limits, and are inherently complex and costly. Furthermore, with increasing amounts of encrypted traffic, DPI-based bandwidth control solutions have declining utility. So, how can WISPs effectively control bandwidth while improving quality of experience for their subscribers? Well, there's some good news. Much progress has been made in the field of active queue management and internet traffic management over the past five years or so. One recent innovation coming out of the IETF is FQ Caudal. In this approach, flows are automatically categorized into bulk or interactive based on how much queue they build up. So applications like streaming video or Netflix get categorized as bulk flows, while VoIP, gaming, or DNS sessions get categorized as interactive flows. Further, interactive flows get instantly prioritized, so even when a customer maxes out their speed plan with, say, Netflix, other applications don't feel slow, and the overall experience is much better. Preseam leverages FQ Caudal to offer a QoE-optimized bandwidth control solution to WISPs that keeps just the right amount of queue in the device to ensure high link utilization, ensures per flow fairness and prioritization, requires no complex policies, arbitrary rules, or encryption concerns. The result? WISPs that deploy Preseam's QoE-optimized shaping based on FQ Caudal and AQM techniques get happier customers, lower churn, fewer support calls, fewer truck rolls and support costs, better bandwidth utilization, and delayed network investments or upgrades. Today, hundreds of WISP owners and fixed wireless networks deploy Preseam's QoE-optimized bandwidth control solution. Check out some of their video reviews and testimonials in the link below. For more information on these bandwidth control solutions, check out our full blog using the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.